Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley Kadek if you're tuning in for the first time and today I went for a closure wig. So you guys know closure wig, loose deep wave, two of my favorite things on the planet when it comes to my units. Very simple, easy, beginner friendly. I don't care what season is or how cold it is. Loose deep wave, deep wave is always going to be a favorite for me because it just gives such a good vibe. Like I feel like it just brings out my inner beauty it gives like summer vibes winter vibes spring vibes and truth be told fall and winter i'm gonna rock this hair too it makes it easy i can just wet it down in the morning if i have to sometimes if you maintain it well and put it in a bun and it twist it up or put it in a bun you don't even have to do that and then of course a closure wig that fits glueless is chef's kiss so it's going to be a very beginner friendly super easy install if you haven't already check out my tiktok i did a tiktok version of this um simultaneously while i filmed this tutorial because again i'm trying to get my tiktok back i feel like i love it over there so follow me over there i'm ashley p deck official i have that information in the description box as well but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video jumping right into it but first let's take a moment of appreciation for the meek meals freshly braided by more this is the wig straight out of the box she is a 5x5 loose deep wave closure wig she's 180% density and 28 inches in length and this is a look at the inside construction of the cap hi hubby so before we start I'm gonna go ahead and just tint the lace from the inside I'm taking what is actually a concealer and I get it on Amazon I'll have it in the description box then I'm just gonna go ahead and grease my hairline I've been trying to do a little bit more and be more proactive at getting my hairline back since having COVID it was so full after each of my children and then you go through the postpartum hair loss at four months which it never fully recovers and then COVID just really just made it worse I'm gonna put this um wig cap on so these are my new favorite wig caps. They are nice and thin. They make it to where you really don't need to do like the ball cap method, even though I don't do that anyways. I just like to cut slits in the back to make sure it's not too tight and press down on the hairline. And then I'm going to tint it to match my complexion. Now the reason for the slits in the back, a lot of the times people think like the wigs are messing with like your hairline or my hairline or the glue. I sew or not so but by my wigs down above my hairline so the wigs really don't mess with my hairline but i feel like sitting a wig cap on your hairline directly and leaving it there for like days or even weeks at a time kind of can mess with it so i'm just been more careful with moisturizing my hairline not leaving my wig caps on at the hairline and also making sure the hair the wig caps are not too tight here is a look at the wig straight from the back straight out of the box you can definitely co-wash the wig before to kind of like make the hair a little bit more um, big and defined but I really loved the curl straight out of the box so that's what we're going to work with today now because it's a closure wig I did opt for a center part you can definitely do like a curved part or like a side part you can even shift the closure wig to the side to make it like a deep side part so there's definitely still versatility but just typically with closure wigs I mainly prefer just a nice center part. We're going to work on the Dynamic Duo, which is really the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. I really like to go in and press it out and make it as flat as possible. For me, I know that a lot of people will want to keep that definition at the parting. But for me, I also feel like when a wig is like curly or wavy from root to tip, it kind of just doesn't look good on me. It just gives like church wig, beauty supply store wig, and it just makes the wig look a little bit more cheap. I don't know why, but just on me, root to tip curly just does doesn't look good in my opinion so you're going to see how i'm going to go ahead and just flatten it out really nice and then i'm going to bring some of that definition back in just a moment but this is just the first step in that part we went ahead and cut off the excess lace and i did use an eyebrow razor after the fact you can see that this wig does fit glueless and i've been wearing it for a week since i filmed this last sunday at my son's football game and here i am a whole sunday later doing the editing and i have still been wearing this wig every day even though i've worn other wigs but this has been like my daily go-to gym work you know Aaron's wig and again I don't bond it down again it just sits on my head perfectly and I love that for me now let's go ahead and work on baby hair so when it comes to closure wigs I almost always will wear a little bit of baby hair right where the lace ends and the track starts you guys know that beard piece it kind of will um create like a little bit of a lump or a hump I like to make that a nice smooth transition by making baby hair which is what I'm doing now I'm just making or 
separating a nice generous piece separating the actual um rest of the hair and i'm going to do the dynamic duo here too where i just add a little bit of wax and then pair it with the electric hot comb to really make sure that the front is like flat and smooth and so that it kind of looks like it's growing out of the scalp also, I'm going to train this baby hair to go in the opposite direction. Typically, it would go backwards or sideways, but now that I want it to work as baby hair, I'm kind of just trying to train it to go forward. Hopefully, that makes sense. And definitely be careful with your hot tools, especially near your forehead. You definitely don't want to burn yourself, even though I do that often, even though I have so much experience. Now, let's go ahead and form the baby hair. So initially, I was working with mousse. Mousse Typically, it's one of my favorite products just because I feel like it still will, it will lay the baby hair down, but it'll keep it fluffy because the hair was straight up here or right here at the moment. And also coming from being curly, it kind of just was like, well, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to be straight? Do you want me to be curly? So it really it looks like it's going to lay down, but it's going to lift and you're going to see how I'm going to fix that later in the video. But for right now, we're just going to just form it as best we can. And I really love the way it came out. If you don't want it as full, you can definitely thin it out or just pull less baby hair forward. To set off the parting and the hairline and all of that, let's go ahead and add some concealer. You guys already know Fenty 420 is my go-to. And then I'm going to use this Ruby Kisses palette. This is also a concealer, just a little bit darker. And I'm going to go along the entire forehead. And then you can set that with powder or leave it as is. I believe on this day I left it as is the hair. But later on I did put a powder that was a little bit darker over top. Now we're pretty much done. Our wig is bonded down and installed. We have everything looking good. I'm just going to go in with some of that same mousse to really bring out the curls. And I really love a good mousse on my curly and wavy textures. For me, it just gives everything that needs to be given. And you guys can see I'm kind of teasing the top to kind of bring back that wave pattern as well. It is a little bit or even a lot too flat. And again, I am always open for constructive criticism just in a sense of like the way I do things things obviously aren't meant for everyone but I'm just giving you options and like the way that I would style this one and I love the way it came out but I did bring back some of that wave at the top and you can see from doing that the um, baby hair did lift back up so I'm going to take my edge control for my brand bdeckbitty.com and just re-add it down and this is going to just hold it down you can also add the melt belt to really really set this which definitely wasn't necessary in this case but again the it just needed a little bit of training to be formed to baby hair because again it wants to be curly that's the natural you know state or texture of the hair and we want to kind of train it to just lay there and be flat and be super cute right okay guys this is the look I love, love, love this hair. And the fact that it came from Amazon is amazing. Let me try to fix this so you can see the bottom. So this one did come from Aubrey Hair. I love the box and the packaging. Excuse it, I've been like holding it and grabbing it and kind of pushed it out. But inside they did give us some goodies. They gave us this really nice um, iPhone tripod, which I'm super excited about. And it's pink. Look at this. Wow. And it has a logo on the inside absolutely gorgeous so i'm definitely going to be using this because i've been stealing my son's how cute is this so this is going to be perfect for my iphone thank you ori for that they also uh, sent us over some weight caps and then there are two um melt belt wig bands in the package as well these are perfect for like the fact that they gave me two is perfect because I love to have one on when I'm in the shower. I love to have one when I'm um, asleep and then I love to have one when I work out. So the one that's for like showers and sleep can stay here. And the one that goes for workouts like my Pilates and my boxing can go in my gym bag. But this is the results of the hair. I've been trying to tease it up because I did go ahead and straighten out the root. But I decided at the end I kind of wanted to give it some definition. Here's what it looks like from the back. Now, originally, I thought I was going to wand curl the ends to give it definition, but to be honest, it didn't need anything at all. I love the way it came as is. I am going to add a little bit more on top to smooth it down just because I kind of like spent my time teasing it up to get that wave definition. And now that I've gotten the definition back, I kind of still want to smooth it out so that it's flat, but it's 
wavy like you know how you can see the wave and the definition in there so this is the look i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go i have to head to my son's basketball game because it starts in 15 minutes and i still have to do my girls hair and it's 15 minutes away so we are definitely late be sure to check out the description box i have a direct link to this wig there you can also find a list and links of everything we use to complete this look thank you again ori hair for sending this wig i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and learned a few things also i hope you guys check this one out thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one Smooches.